Hello everyone, in this session we are going to see how we can make a callout from one Salesforce org to another and for the callout we are going to use OR 2.0 client credentials flow for that we are going to create named credentials, external credentials and we don't need to write uh, the Apex code for authentication. Earlier, earlier to make a call out using the OR 2.0 client credentials flow uh, we had to write the apex code because it was not supported in the name credentials but uh, with the new name credentials and the external credentials uh, many different oauth flows are supported so uh, today we'll talk about uh, making a call out using client credentials flow so let's start uh, firstly we need to understand the basics what are the types of integration in salesforce so in Salesforce, we have two types of integrations that is outbound or inbound. Outbound is called as callouts and the inbound integration is called as call-ins. What is callouts? The request is made from a Salesforce org to an external system. When the request flows from Salesforce to an external system, it is known as outbound request or callout. And the concepts which uh, we use for callouts are name credentials and external credentials. While for call-ins or the inbound integration, it is a request made from external system and it has to be handled by the Salesforce org. So for that, uh, we, can, we'll, we, we use concepts like connected, connected apps handle the call-in requests. Now, uh, let's see how we, let's start with the demo. So in today's demo, we will connect two Salesforce orgs where one will have a connected app to handle the call-in and the other will have a na will have name credentials and external cre credentials configured to make a call out so prior to 20 winter 24 release client credentials flow were not supported for name credentials but now we can use this flow and make a call out without writing the apex code for authentication so let's see a demo now i'll go to my salesforce org uh, so this this is my salesforce org which will handle the call in in this org, I have to create a connected app and for testing purpose, I have provided all the scopes and I have checked this checkbox, enable client credentials flow. And if I go to manage, we, we have a running user for the client credentials flow here. So you see this column client credentials flow, you have to add a running user. This user must have the API only permission so that uh, this flow can run successfully. Uh, now, let me go to the other org. You can see the my domain is different here. In this org, I have to configure the name credentials. So for that, let me search name credentials and select on uh, before configuring the name credentials, you have to configure the external credentials. So let me click on new external credentials. Name is, uh, let me name it test. The authentication protocol would be OR 2.0. The authentication flow type would be client credentials with client secret flow and we have to check this checkbox pass client credentials in the request body for the url uh, we have to go to the other org we, un, uh, we have to search for my domain and we have to copy this url this is the my domain url let me go back and let me input it here and uh, the identity provider URL would be the URL which you will hit for the access token. So for the access token, I'll hit uh, slash services slash OAuth2 slash token. So this, this is the Salesforce uh, endpoint for the access token. Let me click on save. And uh, after you have created this, you have to go to principles. You have to create a new principle. In the principle name, now it is asking for the client ID and the client secret. So you have to, uh, in your connected app, when you'll click on manage or uh, in your connected app, you have your consumer key and the consumer secret. You just need to copy paste it here and click on save. And the principles has been saved successfully. Now uh, you have to uh, you have created the external credentials successfully. Now have to you have to go to name credentials and click on new uh, new name for the, for the URL. You have to type the my domain URL. So this would be the base URL for all your requests. 
and you have to enable it for call outs you have to select your uh, external credentials uh, no client certificate is required here and generate authorization header is true and all is good click on save boom now what you have to do is you have to create a new permission set and you have to provide the access for the external credential to work so let me create a new permission set uh, now the first thing is you have to go to external credential principal access click on edit and provide the access to your external credentials uh, now go back to permission set overview click on object settings and search for user and search for user external credentials you have to provide uh, the view all and the modify all permission for this object click on save and then just assign this permission set to your user add assignment let me assign it here to my user boom i have assigned this permission set to my user now let me go back to the name credential and if i'll click on this name credential and i click on this external credential I'll see that uh, this uh, related name credential is populated and if I will click on edit here I can see the principal access uh, this access is present in this permission set as well I can see that and we are all good now I have to go to the developer console of this org and make a call out to the other I'm in my developer console now and uh, let me copy the name credential name this is our named credential you have to copy the name of the named credential and in your endpoint you have to use call out colon name credential and post that you can use the your uh, other uh, parts of the url like i am using the rest api query to fetch all the account names in the velocity org because we have the velocity uh, so we we configured the velocity url uh, in the name credential so this from this org i will be making a call out and uh, i don't with the name credential i don't need to authenticate to the org the authorization header would be added automatically and we just need to provide the other url like after authentication we will make a rest api request right so with the use of name credential the authentication step is saved and we can directly make a call out now let me run this and let's see if it works and boom so we got our results which you can see here the, these are the name of accounts that is present in the other velocity or account s force and name is pyramid so uh, we are successful and we got our response back and we have set up the name credentials uh, in our org to configure to use the or 2.0 client credentials flow uh, so that we can make the call out to the other org so that's all for today's session and hope you learned something new in this video do subscribe to my channel for more such videos thanks everyone